Uh, it is Sunday. Um, let me check the date. July 26th. And uh, I'm heading to the grocery store. We are clean out of eggs. Um, I need some more watermelon. I need some blackberries. Some more Quest bars. Uh, some sparkling waters. Regular waters. Like tons of stuff. So um, propane tank for our grill because we finally got our grill up and going. We just need the propane tank. So I'm headed to the grocery store. I woke up this morning at 121.4, so which is crazy because yesterday we went to a friend's house or a um, family member's house for a uh, 50th birthday. And they had Qdoba that catered, which I don't really like, but it was fairly, it was pretty good because I got to put my own stuff together. And I was over on calories, especially fat, because um, they did have a white tortilla and those things are like 300 calories. And they use straight lard to make those things. So, yeah, that was, um, put me over, but still woke up smaller this morning. I don't know. So, um, today is, like I said, it's Sunday. We're just going to be doing stuff around the house. Um, I'll probably eat around 11. Um, let's see. Probably Kodiak cakes and some eggs. And then this afternoon, my husband and I are going to go on a date to see the movie Southpaw super excited we go to a theater here and it's like recliners and it's just really nice so I'll have a I already scheduled what I'm gonna eat today um, I'm gonna get a small popcorn at the theater and then we're going to Ted's Montana Grill so I already scheduled myself to have just a bison burger so just the meat and then the fries I'd rather have the fries and not go over on carbs with the bun um, I just prefer the meat, the taste of the meat it's really good so We'll do that and I'll probably get like a little side salad with some balsamic vinaigrette or something like that. And then that'll conclude my calories for the day or my my macros. Um, so I'll have a big breakfast. I'll do probably a Quest Bar somewhere. And then we'll do that, you know, those other two meals. So that's the plan. I'd like to try to get a workout in. It's probably not going to happen today just because we're cut short on time. And I have to work out during my daughter's naps. She only takes two a day, and the second one is usually shorter. And during her first one, I need to finish or get close to finishing um, sanding our deck down. And it's a huge deck, so it's taking a lot more time than I thought it would. Especially because I only have an allotted two hours for her nap, you know, in the morning. So that's the plan. Um, I wanted to also kind of briefly go over the plan as far as what I'm doing for this booty gains series. So I already took my measurements. I'm probably going to take my measurements again tomorrow. So I will make a video of taking those measurements so we can kind of compare them to last week's. Probably is not going to be a big change. I don't assume it will be. Um, really I only like to take measurements like every couple of weeks, every three, four weeks. So you just really don't notice too much of an increase uh, when you're, you know, doing that sort of thing. So um, you know, as far as the plan, I'm going to stick to you about four days to five days of lifting. Two of those days will be glute-specific days, um, glute slash legs, that type of thing. And then the rest is going to be like shoulders and tries, back and buys, and chest. Um, so that's the plan with that. And then as far as macronutrients, um, I'm going to go ahead and put my numbers in later. I probably have to do that tomorrow for you guys because I'd like to do it, um, like actually show you how to put those numbers in so that you can see how it works. Like if you decide that you want to try if it fits your macros and you want to see how it works, um, you just go to iifym.com and go to the iifym calculator, um, not the other calculators, just that one. And that'll, you put in your numbers, you put in your age and, um, you can put in you can even customize a little bit, like if you, you know, use what they're, rec I, I recommend using their recommended numbers uh, at first, and then you can always adjust from there depending on how your body's reacting to the program. Um, I love it, and I'll probably not ever change and do anything else. I definitely, when I decide to compete again at some point in the future, um, I'll definitely clean my nutrition up, you know, towards halfway through or whatever, but I'm still going to allow myself those 
those treats, not really, I'll just schedule them in. I'm not gonna have cheat meals. I, I don't really have cheat meals anymore because I just schedule in what I wanna eat. Like today, I planned on, I wanted a small popcorn. I held the butter, which sucks, but I'll probably bring my jalapeno cheddar um, seasoning and sprinkle that on the popcorn at the theater. But I scheduled that in to eat a whole small container. And then I also scheduled in to go to Ted's and have the french fries and enjoy myself there. So we're gonna do that. Um, I just wanted to give you a gist of the plan. Um, and this is gonna be, I'm gonna call, I think we'll do an eight to 12 week series. I haven't decided yet. I'd like to do it 12 weeks. And then um, it'll go into what we're doing in Costa Rica and stuff like that. So. Uh, that'd be kind of a good number. I think we'll call it 12 weeks. So, hey guys, did a mini grocery haul here. Two and a half dozen eggs, sunflower seeds, just because I like them. Um, two things of blackberries, two things of strawberries. I got some lean ground beef here to make some hamburgers, roasted garlic, um, breadcrumbs. These are just good to make some baked chicken and things. Uh, I got some Olive Garden light Italian dressing. The macros on this are pretty good. I don't know, it's not really focusing. Um, but it's two tablespoons, 30 calories, two grams of fat, and zero carbs, zero protein. So it's pretty good. And then I got some bacon beds, because I like that on my salads. Sweet hot mustard. This is only 10 calories uh, for one teaspoon. I got some jelly so I can make my daughter some peanut butter and jelly sandwich or sometimes I'll put this on my rice cakes pre-workout. I got a couple of Quest bars just to try out some new flavors. I got the low carb high fiber tortillas, um, whole wheat. Macros on this are pretty good as well. 80 calories for one, three fat, 18 carbs, eight protein. And then I got Thomas English muffins, the light ones. We actually use these in place of buns for our hamburgers. And then I got the healthy multigrain, delightful 45 calorie bread. I got these baked wheat crisps for my daughter to snack on, as well as these little organic sunny day snack bars. And then I got some fully cooked turkey sausages, um, just for breakfast or whatever. Got some 100 calorie popcorn, five grams of fiber in one package, and it's 110 calories, so sometimes it's a good snack. I got bananas, potatoes, red potatoes, um, a couple of these sparkling ices, zero calories, peach nectarine, and cherry limeade flavor. And then I also got some cranberry juice cocktail. Um, sometimes I just like, if I'm gonna have the calories, sometimes I like the real stuff instead of the light. I got a couple of bags of lettuce for salads. I got these yogurt raisins for my daughter. I got three kinds of rice cakes. I got caramel, white cheddar, and then the low sodium plain ones. And I'll put that Jif Whips on there. And then I got a little night light for my daughter. Some dry shampoo. Some hairspray. Some Q-tips. These little cups for us to put like condiments in or for my daughter to play with. She loves these stacking them up and things. And then some night lights. It's Monday, July 27th. I'm gonna do my weigh-in. And we're also going to do measurements today. So, 122.4. All right, just took my weight. I'm going to do my measurements. Okay. Go right around the belly button. Got about 30 and three quarters. Both the hips here. And we're at about 31, 31 and a half. Okay. And then around that butt. Can't remember what the measurements were last time. I'll have to go back and watch the video and write them down. But 34 and a half. Oh, let's go correctly. Yeah, 34.5. Okay. We'll do the chest. 
Should be wearing the same bra, but usually sports bras are all kind of fit me the same, so. Hi, Bryn. Okay. So right there. Right about 33 and a half. It's 10 a.m. here, and I've already had a few bites. But this is a low-carb tortilla by La Tortilla Factory. And then I've got two sausage links, two turkey sausage links. Um... 14 grams of 2% milk cheese, and then one whole egg, two egg whites, and some sriracha. So I'm going to go ahead and eat this. I already had some coffee. I had my Super HD this morning. Got that in the mail, so I started back up on that yesterday. And then, let's see, um, probably around 1 o'clock is when I will do my lunch. So I'll catch that on, on here, and then I'm going to eat the rest of this and get back to work. We're making some progress in the house. I just got done spraying for spiders Ooh. and bugs on the outside of the house. But I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. Um, I'm not quite finished with the deck, but it, we have the dumpster that we ordered only for another couple days. So I really wanted to get this bottom area cleaned out. And I'm going to take you and show you what the wonderful previous centers left us. So this is what they left us. All this disaster under here. I'm going to clean all this out and pull the truck around, um, load it all up. There might be a few things that I'm able to keep, like I'd like to utilize this brick for something. I'm not sure yet. Um, there's some wood, but it's pretty rotted out, so we won't be using that, but we did find some wood down by one of the fences that they made, clear back over here, and um, I'm going to end up likely using that to build out my garden a little bit more and then we've got this dog run and like all this fence and it is god awful so i'm going to be tearing this down or trying it looks pretty deep right now but we'll figure it out and then i've got all this down under here this is just trashed just a bunch of stuff all along here and get rid of all of this um probably get rid of all these weeds and some random dish and all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to be doing today. Uh, Here, we, mommy needs to look at these colors now. Yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> What's what do you have? Is that mommy's workout stuff? Hopefully you like it and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.